It's time to use the function block stick for our e-stop programming. Now these are certified, so you don't have to do all the work. Select your safety CPU, programming, POUs, programs, and in this case program zero. If you have other programs, you can simply add another one. At the top, you can see we have our internal and external variable names. And to the right in our toolbox, we have all of our functions. Select the safety function block and the SF emergency stop. Drag and drop it to the start here turns green. Now we need to define our function block. And this needs to be a unique name. So right click and start typing. Okay, maybe eStop isn't the most unique name, but it does serve its function well. Next, right click and you can start typing activate. You can also use true or you can set up all of your nodes so that if they're, if they're okay that it would also activate. Now we want to go to our global variables to get our first input. Select it from the list and notice that all of our safety devices are highlighted in yellow and the inputs and outputs also start with a capital S underscore. For function blocks, inputs are always on the left and outputs are always on the right. Let's add our reset button and then our output. To do this, go right to the edge, right click and insert assignment. If you have a standard output, you can now select this or you can drag and drop another function block if you're using the relays or the EDM.